What's up guys, Heat King here, bringing you a trailer reaction slash breakdown for the new Resident Evil 4 DLC, Separate Ways, coming out in literally two more days. So yeah, if you're wondering why I'm wearing all of this, it's because I'm ill, I've got a headache, and yeah, I'm going to work in a few hours, so I just want to get this out of the way, I am feeling like crap. So like and subscribe if you wish me to get better soon. Uh, I haven't done this in a while, so yeah. Um, yeah, where's the trailers for this? <sighs> okay, uh, here we go. Uh, let's do this. <clears throat> let's find that sweet, sweet trailer. There we go, it's a two minute one. Is it getting my focus? Because sometimes it's not in focus, that's the annoying part. There is this one thing I must do before I can recover the ember. So a lot of Lewis in this trailer. Leon, which is good. We get more Lewis. Lewis was one of the best infected. parts of the of, of the remake, really. So. Okay. But this is your and last. And it's nice to actually kiss. see the dynamic between him and uh, Ada. When this, there is a confirmation that the second Vertigo is in the DLC. What would I do without you? Be parasite food. So we got we got just like Leon in the, in the remake. Lady. We have Lewis helping Ada oh, no. here. Sorry, what kind of a man leaves a lady? Sorry, Luis. It might be a while. This looks like I don't know. Stop wasting my time. Well, Wesco, Ada. which is always good. Just get it done. Gotta keep the client happy. For auto fight, and then there's a confirmation. Sure Vertigo. You must already feel the effects. Eh? And it looks like he's transforming into you three. I need to put that thing down. There are things I must set right. Now we got to Why fight. So important to you. The laser's back. No. The laser yeah. is back, which is awesome. What to do with you, Luis? The goodbye is gonna have to wait. Yeah. So the most unexpected part about this trailer is this moment here. I was hoping for this, this to be the ending of the original game, but that all depends on you. Are we getting Ada versus Wesker? I don't know. It seems everything that was cut from the main game has been taken and moved into the DLC for Ada, which is a huge improvement because the original Separate Ways is pretty crap. I'm not going to say a lie about it. The original Separate Ways was meh. It, it really didn't offer a lot. Um, just reusing certain bosses and just reusing certain areas and not really doing anything. Like the best part of that whole game, of that whole campaign was the battleship, which felt like, which was like, it felt like the only new entire area that we had in that game and the Sadler boss fight. But other than that, like it feels like they didn't put a lot of effort into it. This DLC, you can tell they put a lot of effort into it. It's like, yeah, I mean, the fact we get more Lewis, right? And he's there. We're getting more development for him, which is good. The second Vertigo confirmed because everyone was like, what happened to the second Vertigo? And there's a file in the main game that literally tells you it's you free. So it was pretty obvious they were setting that up to be Ada's like stalker or main enemy going forward in the DLC. And we can see our first appearance here. So it is in the castle. It is going after her. Obviously, Lewis in the castle taking care, you know, helping Ada. Like, remember, we Lewis told us to meet him at a certain area, right? And when we get there, he's not there. So where was he? What was he doing? So it's like, okay, I guess this explains that. He's with Ada doing this stuff. And then he gets captured. Okay, he gets captured here. Uh, and this looks like the um, this looks like the the main hall of the castle. If you remember in the original game, I think once you open up the door or something, or you keep on going, uh, Ashley coughs up blood, and then she runs into the wall, and she gets captured, and you have to go all the way around to save her. I'm wondering if this is similar here, in that, you know, Lewis gets, you know, instead of Ashley getting captured, it's Lewis that gets captured now in the castle, and then you as Ada have to rescue him. If you pay, if you pay attention to a certain shot, Lewis has a tracker on his back. So, that's very similar to the original game with uh, Leon putting a tracker on Ashley. But, obviously, now it's Ada putting a tracker on Luis. So, yeah. No changes like that. You know, it's in there. You know, people are like, oh, they cut a lot of stuff. They haven't cut it. They've just moved it or changed it about. For example, the uh, 
the, the sewer area in the original game where you first meet the Nosvados or whatever, that, that, that was pretty much moved to that underground pit now. Like, instead of a sewer, it's like, it's like that pit before you fight Vertigo, like the first Vertigo. So, maybe we will get the sewer in this one with the sewers and everything. I don't know. Like, uh, it, it'd be very weird because I, I felt like it wouldn't fit the off. Offen offensity, authenticity, the end test. What's that word? It wouldn't fit the style or tone of this cast that we've got. But you never know. Maybe they'll surprise us. I'm trying to see if there's anything. I don't see anything here grabbing Lewis. It's it's clearly a rope, and then maybe he's getting pulled up. But there's nothing here pulling him up, unless it's a, a Nosfados that's invisible. Maybe that that could be it. I like the fact you can use the hook shot to pull off the shields. That's a cool new feature. The chainsaw man is back. I can't tell if this is the village, but we do get confirmation that the TMP is back. The shotgun is back, and of course, the explosive crossbow is back. More Wesker is always good, but you have to wonder where Wesker is. The fact we get this shot of Wesker at the end, that he's on the island, makes me, hmm, like, what's going on there? So, and then, of course, here's our, here's one of the cut content from the original game, the uh, Sky Rail, the, uh, but, yeah, we got the Sky Rail, so it's in there, it's in there, we're getting the Sky Rail, so, yeah, I, I missed, I think this was one of the main, this was, like, the one of the only set pieces i think that i that i wish was in the village in the in the remake i think that's it i think everything else was completely fine i was fine with getting caught uh but this was the only one i actually greatly missed and the fact that we're gonna get it in the dlc is a great plus because again it means that we're getting more content with ada's campaign like separate ways again in the original game was very bare minimum you're just going through areas you've gone through before there's nothing new there for the most part but yeah we get that we get we get a new Gorado, uh, a Ganado fight. Is that what you call it? I'm gonna call him Wolverine. Uh, more knights, more pluggers in knight uh, in in armor, and then we get a second look, official look at Vertigo. I think here coming in to confront Ada in the castle. Looks like it's the main hall. This might be the part where Luis actually gets captured with the rope, and then we cut straight to this dude coming in to confront her. And um, we don't know how Ada gets infected. Maybe with Mendes. Remember in the original game. Uh, when Ada saves Leon from Mendes, he chases after her and captures her. But they never infect her. They they try to kill her. They try to sacrifice her. Uh, but maybe this time they infect her and then it's like, well, crap. Uh, we got some mutation going on here, obviously. The Vertigo is mutating. And there's our first good look at the second Vertigo. Yeah. Ada's getting headaches. There's some fire here. I can't really tell what area this is. This is obviously the castle area. Because remember, Lewis dies in, in the castle. So this is obviously in the castle. But the fire on that, I don't know what it means. I don't know what it signifies. What part, what point of that, or, or what point of that game it could be. Uh, obviously, this has to be, uh, this has to be before Lewis goes in the underground and meets Leon there. Uh, El Giganto fight in the village. In the village. In the actual village. Um, if you if you guys remember... Uh, the second El Giganto fight in the remake was uh, from wasn't technically cut, right? What they did in the remake was they moved the second El Giganto fight to the castle, and they create this whole new scenario where it's throwing rocks at you, and you've got a whole new area of the battlements as Leon as you're trying to escape and dodge it. So that's that's what they did. They just they just switched it up, and then obviously it ended up being revealed that that's the also the uh, El Gigante that you fight in the pit because it's got the same face damage you give to it with the cannon. Um, so, and in the original separate ways, you do fight El Giganto. Like, when you're going through that familiar area where you fight El Giganto a second time, uh, that El Giganto shows up again and you fight it. So, yeah, it's not really much of a difference. But in oh, the difference being that this time, it's in the village. And anyone who's seen the gameplay footage for this, uh, there's there's little, there's there's, there's good Majin, no, it's uh, Ganados attacking Nader. So, you're fighting El Giganto, El Gigante and Ganados at the same time. And using the hook shot to go around the rooftops and fight it from above. And then we get another cut content, which is the laser room. So the laser room is back, which is awesome. I can't I can't tell what area this is. This has to be the island, obviously, because it's all high tech and that. But that, that means we're getting a whole new area to the island then, because Ada would have had to have gone through a diff for an entire different part of the island to to get to this point with the lasers and that. So it makes me curious. And then, of course, we have this control room here. I can't really tell what... I think this might be... If you look at the monitor here, this might be the room where... It could very well be the room where Leon is, is getting the uh, key cards and he's fighting the regenerator. So this could be that. Uh, 
you know, using something here, maybe collecting data for the organization. Wesker getting annoyed and actually... So we're going to get Ada on the jet ski. I'm assuming we're going to get the battleship area. Like, we're going to get all of that. Like, that's going to be kept in. Because if you guys remember, when you're playing uh, the remake and you're escaping on the boat, right? You see all these ships docked and, and damaged and that. So, like, I think we're going to get that. We're going to get that here. And explain, and, and explain how Ada gets the jet ski and gives it to Leon afterwards. So Ada has the amber here. So Le uh, Lewis gives it to her. Strange. And then more vertigo here. Oh, is Ada going to meet Ashley? Maybe, maybe not. And then we have this room here and some big hand coming out. Now, this is either a regenerator. I don't think so because the hand looks way too big. I think this is the vertigo having transformed into U3. I think this might be the ship container or, or, or the container, basically. And it's going to take place on the island, maybe outside in like uh, the shipyard or something. So I'm thinking that's how they're going to switch it up and change it about. But yeah, that's cool so far. And then Ada obviously infected, confronting Sadler. So if, she, if she's still infected at this point, he's going to be able to control her. And then that's that. And then we get the biggest twist of all. Which is Wesker confronting Ada. Now, this is either a hallucination brought up by the Plagos in, in Insider. And she's hallucinating this. Or at some point, Wesker actually comes to the island and you have to wonder, how the hell does he get to the island from where he is? And the only thing that makes sense is is if he's on a submarine, basically. Like, he's on a submarine. I mean, I'm trying to think of this. Like, could this be a sub, maybe? I don't know. Maybe he's on a submarine, and he's literally located near the village or the island. And that's how he's able to quickly get there. Like, that would make... That, I think that would make sense, wouldn't it? So when the helicopter comes, and it's trying to take her, it's like, it's supposed to take her to the sub where Wesker is located. But it's like, nope. Or maybe it does. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe she's originally supposed to go somewhere. Like, at the end of Resident Evil 4, when she turns the helicopter around, maybe it's actually not to go where, uh, uh, where she was supposed to go, but she's actually going straight to Wesker, perhaps, to confront him, maybe. But you also have to wonder what that vow was, like, that Lewis was giving her. Like, what's that about? Because we know in, in, in the canon, in the original canon, Wesker apparently gets the master plug or, or a plug a sample from Krauser's dead body. So is this going to be included? Is Wesker going to play the Krauser role? Are we going to fight him? Which would be amazing. It's a nice setup for RE5 remake if we fight him here. Personally, I'm still hoping we get Cold Veronica. I'm, I'm, I'm crossing my fingers we actually get a remake of RE1, Cold Veronica, and then RE5. Like, I think that would be the smartest thing Capcom could do. Like, just do a trilogy. The Stars, Chris versus Wesker trilogy. And you're set. You've got three games you can remake. And boom, there you go. Reimagine and there you go. Um, because in a, in, a, in, a way, in a way, you've got RE2, uh, 3 and 4. And they, they sort of tell one story. Yeah, Joe's like in the middle of that. But you, you basically get the end of Raccoon City with that one. And then... If you go back and you do one called Veronica, you're getting the full story of Stars, Chris, Jill, and Wesker as well. So I think I think that needs to be done. That's how Capcom needs to do it. Uh, it's a bit it's a bit weird for them to do it that way, but I, we want it. We want a, I want I want a Cold Veronica remake, like, and I wouldn't mind an RE one remake in the RE engine if they really make it bigger and better. Like, but yeah, we'll have to wait and see. We'll have to wait and see. But either way. I'm going to be playing this. I'm going to be streaming this when it when it comes out on the 21st. Hopefully, I'm, I'm feeling better by then. Uh, I feel, I really do feel like crap. Like, I'm, I'm using all the strength I have just to talk on the camera here. But yeah, 21st. Can't wait. Hopefully, it's good. Hopefully, it's good. And it means that Capcom cares. The fact that they're putting all the cut content in here. It makes me wonder what else is going to be included. I mean, obviously, they only show parts of this. So, you know, hopefully we get the lava room, maybe, with the, the, the dragons and that, which I wouldn't mind. I mean, it, it's it's part of the original game I didn't like, do you know what I mean? Like, like I, I really did find the pacing of the remake far better and superior. But if it's stuff that they're taking out and they're putting into the DLC, I don't mind that. Because it means it gives Ada more to do. It gives her actually better scenarios to go through than one what she had to go through originally with, with, with the original version of Separate Ways, which was not fun, in my opinion. It wasn't. Uh, so hopefully this is better. It looks better. So it, it looks like they put their time in it. And I'm curious to know if uh, M2 were, were the ones who fully made this. Because if you remember the rumors, they were working on RE4 and then they got booted off and they helped a bit with it, but Capcom Division 1 fully worked on it and then they were working on the DLC. So I'm curious if, if they are responsible for that. Because if they do a good job of this, then it's like, okay, give them 
give them Ori one remake or give them Call Veronica. Maybe this time they can make a proper good remake now. Do you know what I mean? So we'll see. We'll see. But yeah, I like what I'm seeing here and I can't wait. Hope you guys like that. As always, remember to like and subscribe. And I shall see you when I shall see you. Take care and bye.